Welcome back. Let's take a look at our first exercise where you were to import the old lab 200 underscore 1 as count vowels in file. We also have OS and SIS. Let's look at our magic name equals magic main clause. And in here we ask, do we have more than one string on the command line? We always have one, and that's the name of the program. If so, then we'll use the oneth one, and that will be what we put into our main. If not, we'll run main and accept cats as our der name. Now then, we're going to give a report. And in that report, we're going to call count vowels and der of cats. We start with zero. And now we do our walk. We only look at the file names. Now, if you did the dir names, things got more complicated and much more complicated than they needed to be. So we just had the file names and we make the whole path out of them. And we're going to add into this total that we initialized to zero. Count vowels in file, count vowels in file, the whole path. That's all we had to do. And we'll be doing that through the whole walk, so we'll get all the vowels in that directory structure. For 240 underscore 2, we're going to use lab 2022 as swapper. We did a long time ago. And in our main, again, we check the length of our sysargv. And if we do not have one, then we're going to make our starting dir be our cat's 2 directory. But we want to use shootle to copy tree, to copy the whole cats directory to the cats2 directory, because I want to work on that directory. I don't want to mess up the cats directory, because I like to regenerate that to you. So before that, we first remove it. But that can get an error if it isn't there, and we don't care. That's what our goal was, to have it be not there. Then we have the function print deep files from the starting directory. We swap text files. And here we give the starting directory and a tuple of the cat and dog string that we want to swap. And then we'll print files again. Let's look first at print deep files. Here's our starting directory, which we walk. We only look at the file names. We make the whole path. Then we print that whole path, and I put a colon afterwards just to look nice. And then I open it, and I read each line, and print out each line where I change the end to be just a space, or I don't even have to have a space, so we don't get the new line twice. And between each file, I do some dashes. Okay, so we printed it out once. And then we swap text files. Here's my starting dir, and this time I have swappers, which is a tuple. And that tuple then we will unwrap it into an apple and an orange. And then I do my walk. And I look at all the files. I join them together, and I push them into swapper. And that's all I had to do. So that walk does a huge job for us very easily.